Hello guys. So tonight I decided to show you a tutorial of how to work with resin, how to make resin jewelry, um, jewelry if I pronounce it right. Um, so if you're interested stay with me and we I'll show you all the process first of all for this purpose you will need something like this some tissue paper just to protect your worktop and you will need resin I have this one it, first of all I'll show you the box that's the box that's the, the resin box it, it comes in different amounts in it this one is 750 ml mils. Um, I bought it in eBay. I'll leave a link if you want to buy it. So it comes in two bottles, part A and part B. Part A is a bigger bottle and part B is a smaller one. Because we always need two parts A mixed with one part B. That's why this, uh, there's the difference in size. So, the next you will need uh, some sort of mold. I'll show you the molds that I have. This one is for to make a bracelet or dangle. It's that thin and you pour the liquid here and you put something inside it or here. This one, these I bought on the internet. This one like a um, half squeeze squares, face spheres, <laughs> half spheres. Yeah. And again, there's one like this for to make earrings. And one like this. the surface is not as smooth, well it is smooth but it's not as shiny. I really want to get really shiny surface so this is not really ideal for me. Well, maybe I'm too particular but that's what I don't get. So I was looking uh, round spheres, how to make the round spheres. So I got in the internet this kind of mold which you can make around spheres. Um, I made, I put a cone inside the real cone and um, just put it like this then press it together really tight and then pour the liquid through this 
a little hole I just tied it with hairband or some plastic um, so because I wanted to have more shapes and I couldn't get the ones I wanted I started making my own molds so this is one of them I I wanted to do something like that you know but this is round and I had really nice earrings I really like the shape of them so I decided to make mold myself and this is the way it looks funny shape. Sorry about this. Um, little fluffs. Sticky. So that's the one I made. This red stuff is just a plasticine that stayed on it when I was making a mold. If you're really interested how to make molds for these particular items I can definitely make the video if you would be interested so leave the comment below so and I made these molds as well um, these are round shapes as well it's nice to make earrings out of them and these are really tiny ones, tiny earrings you can make, like stud earrings that are really tiny. And this one is made out of marble. You probably see the shape of them because the marble has the shiny surface. You see, yeah, they were perfect for that job. So. mold and I had I bought different shapes of marble like these ones these ones just to make different pieces of jewelry just something and I always wanted something different just was bored to make ordinary shapes I just wanted some to have something that I haven't seen anywhere else so so tonight I'm gonna sh do these round ones these are bigger ones and a few of these I previously made um, some here can see I just left it now for to dry overnight it takes 24 hours for the resin to harden so next day I'll see what I what I have so I mixed up previously some here. So I will remind you that for this reason, for this resin, you will need part A and part B. Two parts A and one part B. So first of all I took part A and poured it until 10, mil 10 milliliters um, this cup comes with these two bottles so and there's gauges here 10 20 and the top is 30 um, there's 30 mils in this cup so I put 10 mils first of part A and then carefully pour it with this measurement mm, cup or oh, 
this is 2.5 ml, so I just poured two cups of this. So we had like 15 ml here. So let's get started then. I'll, um, I'll make dandelion seeds which I have over here I pick them myself in summertime about two years ago because I haven't done anything with them in two years now so I just put them over here so I have beside me I will just separate them a little bit so I can see <coughs> what um, what shape they are. So for this, I very important thing I wanted to show you demonstrate actually. Whenever you pour part A and part B on top, you take this, um, you take this toothpick and mix it this way, just like this. Not too fast, be careful not to make any bubbles in it, because you can do a zigzag as well like this and you'll see yourself whenever everything is mixed together it is very very important to mix everything together otherwise your work will be ruined so this is the important part and this mixing process probably takes about two to three minutes or so maybe even longer just take your time Make sure you do it right, because you don't want to spend all this time and next day find. So, I would like to make some bigger balls of earrings and stud earrings. So, we'll see how much we can make out of this amount. So whenever I think this toothpick is the best item to use to pour in a small hole like this because you see it just runs in the per perfect drops and you, you will not spill it anywhere. So just gently Pour it like this till about is halfway filled, and whenever it's halfway filled, we'll start incorporate some flowers or whatever you choose to use. I've seen a lot of different objects that people choose to put put in. Uh, I chose dried flowers, dried nature objects, I thought it was really nice. Um, I tried to put some shiny crystals, sparkly crystals in it, but I noticed that shininess, I mean the Whenever they are have a special cut, the shininess sort of disappears and it doesn't look as good then. So I don't advise to put any crystals in it. Uh, 
other thing I would is very important is if you choose to put dried flowers, make sure you dry them thoroughly because if not, it will ruin your work because the water inside will change the color of the object that you put in. Um, even if it will not change that color in one or two days, it could change in one month for example. So make sure you try it properly. So, I filled these two and I will put some dandelion seeds now in it. Just gently push them in. I use another one of a toothpick just to help. I think it will be enough for that one. That amount, you don't want to put too many because you sort of want to see that clear, see through view. And we'll put a little bit more in this one. It's kind of a surprise next day to see how all the flowers set in because at the minute you are not able to see anything. Well, in this particular mode. You can make modes of um, see-through material but I haven't found the right one yet. So, I'll just fill to the top. Let's see. Just a wee fluff here. Want to remove it? You want to put a little bit more on the top because it the resin tends to shrink a little bit. And we'll make some stood earrings. Initially I had in this cup 15 mils. I find it the best amount to make at a time. I think it mixes thoroughly then. If I was doing more stuff that requires more liquid than 15 mils, I making a bigger amount at the time. I was doing 15 mils at the time. Of course
course it took more time to make it but it ensures you that it, it is mixed better together ensures you that the quality will be or the outcome be better. So I think we have here just enough for maybe another pair. Let's try or maybe even more. I was doing this long ago so Can't even remember now. Just a little bit to the side. See. I will put a bit more of the lens. These rascals. See. Just push them in. video I'll be showing how I'll be removing stuff first of all so we can observe the actual surprise and I'll show you how to attach the necessary equipment to it or the not equipment the findings, hearing findings hmm. this one doesn't want to go in right in and we have still some more hmm. I'll just keep going until it's finished. I had so many ideas um, in my head that I wanted to do. Um, make some videos about different things and it just didn't I just can't incorporate incorporate them in um, ASMR boundaries so I was thinking I think I'm gonna make I'm gonna open uh, one more channel just will make like different kind of tutorials or different kind of videos that cannot be classified as ASMR because um, some videos would be more noise and mm, some the tutorials could be shortened you know just for 
people that would like information rather than relaxation so I was thinking that I'll open another channel and leave you li um, the link if you're interested in art and different kinds of things um, if you find it interesting come and have a look and because uh, I thought if I will put everything in the same channel it wouldn't look good at all because people would come to look for SMR and it just wouldn't be like the SMR at all and people who are coming across the video that looks like tutorial but then mm, it takes too long to watch it which some people don't have or a lot of most of us don't have time to watch long videos so I think I'll make this one in two parts as for some art this time for relaxation sort of thing and I think for this other channel I'm gonna um, join these two videos together just for the information purpose so that's these are my latest latest thoughts that I was thinking about just at this dilemma, you know. And I thought I'm gonna I will could possibly solve it. I think I will put the rest in other ones here. <coughs> Maybe I'll just uh, bring it over here. the one that I made early, earlier in the video in a Lithuanian language so that's it all done Well done guys. So very important as well just to clean it thoroughly this cup. Make sure it's nice and clean. All these to clean. So I'll dispose of these. Just to show the lines that I picked all in this bag. Full of it. Just 
I want to make sure that I will not be short of them. So I picked a lot. I picked a lot of different flowers. So I'm put this back in the bag. other day or oh, tomorrow see if I have time and we'll take them out here we are so thank you for watching and if you are interested in crafty stuff <laughs> different crafty stuff Come and take a look at my new channel that I'm planning to open right now. It's not open when I'm filming this video, but I'm planning and see 